There have been a lot of times when it seems as though Theo James is kind of an understated character in movies since quite honesty he does have kind of the stereotypical look of a younger man that's handsome, in good shape, and could fill a lot of different roles. He does have a good amount of redeeming qualities but thus far it's been seen that he is that kind of jack of all trades that could be in a drama or action movie and seem like the same guy for the most part. It might take a supreme effort to really distinguish himself from the pack and break that stereotype since honestly he is a good actor, he just seems to be fitted to a certain mold that he might do well to break out of if he really wants to be seen as one of the top elite actors in the world. Thus far he's done pretty well with his career but in order to do great it's going to be necessary to really push the envelope and go beyond his comfort zone. Here are his 5 best movies. Number 5. London Fields. The plot of the movie is pretty straightforward since Nicola Six has a vision that she'll die at the hands of one man, though she doesn't know who yet so she begins a tryst with three different men in an attempt to find out just who it will be. Stuart Heritage from The Guardian likely had fun ripping this movie apart since unlike a few other entries on this list it didn't exactly do much to really inspire a lot of faith in a bunch of people. But trying to figure out how a movie like this was made and where it me GHT have missed a step is kind of interesting in and of itself since quite honestly it seems as though the critics might have missed something as well. Number 4. War on Everyone. Two corrupt cops that are out to get justice and line their pockets are usually among the most dangerous people on the street since there's not a lot that they won't do. But as anyone can imagine there is always bound to be someone bigger, badder, and a whole lot meaner than the last person. When these two cops get mixed up in a heist gone wrong they end up messing with the kind of people that are more likely to kick your teeth down your throat and then ask how they taste. By the end of the movie things do manage to turn out alright, but throughout the movie the action and the insanity drives the story in a big way. Number 3. The Benefactor. Deborah Ross from The Spectator is a decent example of what happens when a person wants to pick a movie apart and not simply enjoy the story since this movie is a bit odd but does show Richard Gere in a light that we don't normally see. As Franny he's more than eager to help the young couple, one that is the daughter of a couple that was killed during a car crash he was involved in, to start their lives. It gets a little weird however when Franny continues to give and give and give and becomes continually obsessed with the couple no matter how much they try to distance themselves. As important as it is for a movie to be professional and well done it's still important T to look at the story and not every detail that a person might not enjoy. Number 2. Underworld Awakening. It's kind of disturbing to think that humans could possibly overpower even a single coven of vampires let alone many. The fact in this movie however is that the humans have driven the vampires and lichens into hiding since they've gone so overboard when it comes to eliminating both species. When Celine wakes up in captivity however she's anything but pleased as she's been separated from Michael and has no idea what's going on. You can only imagine that she's willing to cut down anyone that stands in her path to get the answers she wants, but the answers she does eventually get are a bit confusing to say the least. Number 1. Divergent. Does anyone else think that the Divergent series, along with many others, are hitting too close to home these days in the minds of many people? The act of being able to think for yourself and not be bound by government rule is something that seems like it should be commonplace, but in this series there's nothing commonplace about being a divergent as it signifies one as a danger to the carefully ordered society that keeps such a close eye on its people that they're afraid to do anything that might single them out. He could be a great actor, but he just needs to break out of the mold. <laughs>